Wow. So PlayStation won't release any major first party games before March 2025. PS5 sales expectations lowered as it faces a software drought. Let's get into it. I'm Blaze 2K. If you love handheld gaming, tech, gaming, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff, and the occasional live stream, consider liking, and subscribing, and clicking the bell icon. Let's get into it. Let's go. If you want to support everything I do on YouTube, guys, consider clicking the join button down below. Becoming a member, it means the world to me. And also go check out Factor 75 if you want meals delivered to your doorstep every single week from a menu of 35 plus exciting, it's just meal. Um, go check out Factor 75 at the link below. You'll get 150% off if you use my link down below. 150, not, not 150%, $150 off. 50% off your first order and then 20% off following orders after that. And you get two free wellness drinks with every box. If you want to take the time consuming effort and just the preparing and the planning, you know, making dinner every day, check out Factor 75. You won't regret it. Review coming soon on the channel. So this article comes courtesy of Polygon. So basically sales of the PS5 are actually below expectations on Sony's side. Um, despite the new PlayStation 5 Slim, which not people were a fan of, let's be honest, the PS5 Slim just, it just, it just fell below everyone's expectations, right? It doesn't look that much smaller. It doesn't look that much better. And that's a mar major departure from previous previous slim models like the ps1 slim the ps2 slim ps3 slim right even the ps4 slim um the ps5 slim is just a little bit ugh. and obviously they've had spider-man 2 a big release and sales are still a couple of million short so let's get into the article and read what else they've got to say so obviously sony won't release any big first party exclusive playstation 5 games in any of its existing franchises this year or before the end of its next financial year in march 2025 the company admitted in its latest financial report regarding first party software we aim to continue to focus on producing high quality works and developing live, ser live service games but while major projects are currently under development we do not plan to release any new major existing franchise titles next fiscal year like God of War Ragnarok and Marvel Spider-Man said Sony President CEO and CFO Hiroki Totoki um, so yeah Sony has been quiet about its post Spider-Man 2 slate the Totoki's statements confirm suspicions that PS5 was facing a long gap in exclusives in its schedule similar to that experienced by Xbox in 2022 Insomniac's Wolverine game for example is known to be a long way off with the recent hack revealing its projected release date to be in 2026. Naughty Dog's next project is unknown while well, its Last of Us multiplayer game has been scrapped. Uh. For 2024, Sony's leaning on third-party publishers and developers to make up this shortfall. This month we'll see the release of Square Enix's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as a PlayStation 5 exclusive while Sony has snapped up um, console exclusivity for Konami's Silent Hill 2 remake for later in the year. A recent state of play focused on these and the other exclusive games from the outside studios including Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade. Splashy for First party exclusives like Horizon and God of War games are PlayStation stock. So how come Sony is facing such a long gap between such releases? It could be for any number of reasons, simply bad scheduling luck or the delayed effects of the production slowdown caused by COVID pandemic. Um, Totoki, Lee, uh, Totoki, who will replace Jim Ryan as interim CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment when Ryan leaves on April 1st, seems to have an opinion on the culprit. On an investor call about the latest financial results, results Totoki hinted that he felt PlayStation's in-house studios could be better run when it comes to their business plans and development schedule. People who work in the studios have very high motivation. They're very highly motivated. They're very good people, and they have a great, they have great creative minds and knowledge of live streaming. Totoki said through a translator. However, having said that, when it comes to the business, I think there's room for improvement, and that's to do with how to use money, the schedule of development, and how to fulfill one's accountability towards development. There are the, those are my frank impressions, and I'll continue to engage in dialogue with those people so that we can find the right way to proceed. Regardless of the reason for it, a gap in big first-party games will have an impact on the PlayStation business, and PlayStation's having an enormously successful year. The gaming division reported a record quarter in terms of revenue and PlayStation hit an amazing 123 million monthly active users. That's a lot of money when you consider the PlayStation Plus subscriptions, right? 125 million, 123 million to monthly users. That is a lot of money. We're in the billions now. Um, but Sony's lowered its aggressive forecast for PS5 sales in this financial year from 25 to 21 million units. And Tadogi said he expected a gradual decline in PS5 sales starting in Sony's next uh, fiscal year, partially due to entering the the latter half of the console cycle. Um, he struck a cautious tone in these, cautious tone in these financial result, results compared to the habitually bullish Ryan. It seems that even Sony is not immune to the gloom surrounding the game industry at the moment. Could some belt tightening and maybe even layoffs hit PlayStation Studios in the near future? We'll find out after Totoki assumes control on April 1st. So obviously, there's going to be a big gap for PlayStation exclusives, first party titles. And that's not a surprise. I, I kind of expected this because they were just pushing out games after big games recently in the first half of the console's generation, right? With 
the spy with Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, God of War, God of War Ragnarok, and the free DLC to God of War Ragnarok. It's just there's just a lot pushed out by um PlayStation Horizon, obviously the Horizon expansion, PlayStation VR2, Gran Turismo 7. It's just been like one big game after the other. And I'm not sure, maybe they did that so they could completely dominate Xbox. Maybe that's why they did it, right? But obviously now we have to pay or face the repercussions of that decision. And that means relying on third party games, of which there will be plenty. And PlayStation have obviously paid a bit of money to make sure some games are exclusive at release. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think the games industry is in a little bit of a slump right now, especially with what's happening to Xbox? Go check out my other video talking about that. About Xbox, how about how Xbox are planning on moving their games over to PlayStation 5? Uh, a lot's happening in gaming. Not all of it good. And that's why I'm a PC gamer. <laughs> that's why I love the PC. That's why I love my Steam Deck, because PC gamers get it all. We get all the releases, or we get most, we get, we're getting more and more PlayStation exclusives coming to PC. We're getting all the Xbox exclusives coming to PC. It's a good time to be a PC gamer, and especially with these new handhelds like the Steam Deck, like the ROG Ally, like the Lenovo Legion Go, it just gets better and better. And hopefully, who knows, we might see a new PlayStation or Xbox handheld in the future. Anyways, we've got a little bit of wait till the next exclusive, but hey, some exciting times to come in game. Let's go. I'm Blaze 2K. Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know, more importantly, what you think in the comments down below. Have a great day. Peace out. Let's go.